The Jewish people uh, have lived in the land of Israel, what is now the, the state of Israel, uh, have lived here and have been attached to this place for about 3,500 years. Three and a half millennia. Now, for roughly for 2,000 years, uh, we were conquered by the Romans, we were conquered by the Byzantines, they did a lot of bad things to us, but they didn't really exile us, contrary to what people think, okay? The ones, uh, the, the, the loss of our land actually occurred when the Arab conquest took place in the 7th century. The Arabs burst out from Arabia, and they did something that no other conqueror, not the Romans, not the Byzantines, not the Greeks before them, not Alexander the Great, nobody did before. They actually started taking over the land of the Jewish farmer. They brought in military colonies that took over the land. And gradually over the next two centuries, the Jews became a minority in our land. So it is under the Arab conquest that the Jews lost their homeland. The Arabs were the colonials. The Jews were the natives dispossessed. Well, that happens in history. The Jews were dispossessed. We were flung to the far corners of the earth. Uh, suffered unimaginable suffering because we had no homeland. But we didn't disappear and we never gave up the dream of coming back to our ancestral homeland. The Arabs who had conquered the land basically left it barren. They never made it their own. It was a barren land. It really had, practically it was an empty land. And in the 19th century, the idea of coming back next year in Jerusalem became a reality. By the way, in part because of Christian Zionist support for the idea of the great return. The Jews came back in the 19th century to the land of Israel. The result of this return was that we started building farms, factories, places of employment. Arabs from nearby countries started emigrating and they now became, they call themselves Palestinians. They reconstructed history and said, we've been here for centuries, you have no right to be here. It's our land. It's not your land. It's been our land for 3,500 years. If you took over, you're, uh, somebody's apartment, knocked them out, dispossessed them, and they never gave up the claim. They said, it's our claim. And you left this barren dump, okay? And the, the, uh, the, the uh, families, the progeny of the people you, you kicked out, came back, rebuilt the house. You cannot come back and tell them, you don't belong here, we're gonna kick you out. Especially since you're latecomers who come to live in, you know, in part of the house, which is what the so-called Palestinians are. Okay, we say to them, you can live here, we can live here, but it's our land, it's our state. And the reason this conflict continues is because the Palestinians, who are, represent the, the, the colonial powers, the Arab conquest uh, of uh, the Middle East and beyond, they are saying, well, you have no right for a Jewish state. Well, we do. If any people has any right to a state, if any people never gave up their dreams of returning to their ancestral home, the Jews belong to this land, this land belongs to the Jews, the Palestinians are free to live here next to us, among us, but they're not free to demand the dissolution of the Jewish state. That is not justice, that is injustice. That's the shortest lecture I can give you about Jewish history.